Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, I'll be playing some Stranded Shroud into Russia 6. And very excited to try out this matchup. I've been told this is a pretty good matchup. Ooh, we got board F. That is, um, I believe that's a good board for Shroud. I remember correctly from Ray's guide, even though I actually haven't read it in over, god, three years? It's been a long time. So high sweat land, highest mountain. Now, it is important to point out that Russia um, board F is a kind of not so good of a board. And that is because of these um, the beasts here. And they're, uh, both of the beasts are in the same land. Now, we ended up getting Sands Explorer, and this kind of makes me sad. Just because I was hoping to possibly create a pocket here, but now that the city is going to build on F8, there's pretty much no way of that actually occurring. Um... Okay, so I need to learn how to do this. I think part of it is learning how to use the Stranded Isolate every turn. Oh, that's cool. I can do this. Really cool little addition. Um, so I get a free Isolate every turn. I wonder if I'm supposed to... If I G2 here. G2 top, bottom. I think that's a very standard build. We go like Presence and Presence. And I think it's the fog closes in plus flowing, right? And then we do unnerving pole to defend. Oh, right, we have a defend. So maybe we defend this, defend three next turn. And this allows me to do, what is this? Two damage plus an extra damage. And then we can defend three here and then take the blight here on my F8. Okay, so I think this looks... Good. Oh, I see. You know, this is the issue. It's because both of these cards cost energy, and you don't have enough energy. Ah, I see. This is like the, the main, the shroud problem. I guess I could go move presence. So when I get, how many moves do I get? Oh, wow, I get two moves in the fast and two moves in the slow. Oh, gosh. Insane. Well, I mean, I'm just trying to think on how I want or where I want to move. Oh, and I get. Oh, wow, this is probably a good matchup. Now that I have the isolate tech. Okay, so the fog closes in. I can do basically two points of damage. Has to be the different invaders. It does. I guess I can go presence. I go move, move. Okay, so I think I'm going to lock this in. I'm going to use my moves. Move a presence to F6 into F5. And then a presence move from F7 into F8. I think I do this. And then next turn in the slow, I could do... This sets me up such that I can use the fog closes in here on the wetland if I need to. I could also do it. I think this is fine. I could also double up killing the town here. Okay, and then I got the flowing, so this just gives me two fear. I could delay this. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Like, if I just play one card here instead. And then next turn, I G2 play two cards. And so if I do these two next turn. I do get the innate then. I just don't know if I want to do it. Yeah, I think this is probably the play. Oh, and then I also have the isolate. Goodness. So much actions. I guess I can go here. Isolate the jungle in case I get jungle hit. Maybe I go isolate the wetland. Because then I can just ping this explorer in the slow, and then I can still use the fog closes in. Where's it? This card. I could do that here instead. Bum, bum, bum. Get an extra fear. I think I want to, though. Ooh, god, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this is, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, let's build sands. There's just so many choices you can make early on, and I know there's an optimal path, I just don't know it. 
And what is the explorer? How lucky am I? Oh god, I'm so good at this game. Oh god, we got wetlands. In my blood, I just felt it. I was like, oh, they're going to hit us with the wetlands. Um, okay, so I get to use this innate suffocating shroud. One point of damage, we do it here. And since it's isolated, it just kills the explorer. And I don't generate any fear. We then have the right innate. We'll use that here to push this to Han into this land. And ideally, we want to push it over here to F3. I then have the fog closes in. I also have two presence moves. Oh, this is sad. This is the one explorer where I can't like get a presence into here as well as the fog closes in a uh, a specific land. Hmm. I guess I could do presence. To go presence move presence move and then the fog closes in damaging the city and I get a fear because time passes I did my two presence moves I'll be able to possibly move that to Han out next turn and then I can go Oh, this is the other negative here, too. If I want to defend this properly, I need a... Um, hmm. I need three presents there. So maybe we... Oh, God, maybe the fog closes in was not the card to play here. Because I don't think I'm supposed to play it. We did it here... I guess I could damage the buildings. Oh no, this is what we do. We move this presence into F1. And then we move this presence into F2. And then we damage it. There we go. We got it. Because what I'm trying to do is in case I want to G2 here again. I can G2, get my three presents. And then I can play um, a Nerving Pole to give me that defend three there. Oh, and that should be damaged. There we go. Yeah, and this has to be a, a mountain wetland, so even me g 3 here is not the way to go. Okay, so I guess I G2. G2. At the top energy, the two energy is probably nice. I, I know I want to get to the three plays, though. That's probably where all of the power is. I actually could, if I G3, I actually could get enough. Okay, no, so I, th I think I'm still supposed to G3 because I get the move presence. So G3, gain the power card, put the presence over to here. And then I have um, a presence, I have two moves here, and I have a move here. So I have three moves that I can use. What did I get? Ooh, got flow, which is a nice disruption. Oh, God, call to guard, of course. Steam vents, it has fire, and because of fire, I'm not going to draft it because then I don't get the free energy. And then we have Primal, which is another Defend and Fear. Um, Call to Guard is uh, definitely the card here. It's just uh, an incredible card in general. Um, zero cost, just everything we want to be doing. So I'm going to grab that, even though it's off element. Oh, it does have air, though. So maybe it's... Because I know we're primarily an air spirit. Um, it also means we can play that here to defend, rather than me using a Nerving Paul. Oh, and since I drafted a, um, a non-fire, I get... One energy for my special roll. So, oh, interesting enough though, if I would have grabbed um, flow. I believe flow lets me hit my left and eight. Yeah, it does. That's that's the one benefit to getting flow. Better than cold guard. There's no way, right? Cold guard is like just a phenomenal pickup. I can't believe I'm considering flow here. Uh, so, I mean, I, I flow is a very underrated card. Well, let's let's first use my presence move. So my presence move for my track will go here. Then we have a presence move here. And a presence move will move to here. 
and then we'll use our stranded innate isolating on F1. And that will allow this land to nicely trade when I use my Unnerving Pole there. Instead, I could do Call to Guard, which would defend three, and that allows me to possibly save up there. I guess instead, I would gather like this, this presence. So the benefit to grabbing Flow Down River, I get the innate, which would allow me to solve one of these mountains or jungles that comes up, as well as Flow Down River. The negative is, you know what, God, I always pick up Call to Guard. The one negative is this flow down river doesn't actually solve um it does not solve the uh the Dahan here. I was trying to see if I could start, like keep the Dahan alive. Well maybe I just take the blight there. I'm slowly thinking of how I want to approach this. Okay, I decided I'm not gonna take call to guard. I'm gonna grab flow down river, I'm gonna use unnerving Paul, one fear. Defend 3. We'll do that over here on F1. And take the Blight. We'll probably take the Blight here. I think I'm pretty okay with that. Set that back. That event. Do I get edge cased? Oh, we do. Oh, we always do. Rising interest. So this would actually cause this land to Blight as well. We do get to add a Beast and get a Fear. And we also get to add a Wilds. And I'll add the wilds over here to the mountain. Now if I choose, I can easily pay for it if I want to. If I do, then that means I lose a fear card. Yeah, Rising Interest is just a brutal card into this adversary. Um, if I don't pay for it, we accelerate. No, I think I got to pay for it. Wow, absolutely devastating. All right. So I'm going to pay for it, discarding my last air card, and uh, I, because like I, I can't afford to accelerate the deck at this point and start getting stage twos. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think we'll just die if we end up doing that. But now this is also blighting, so we're taking two blights, probably possibly a third. What's our fear card? Choose a land with a Han. Okay, uh, so I believe this does solve this land. I can downgrade that. Okay, all right. I can get behind that, and those guys die. That blights, and this builds. Ooh, actually, so technically, <laughs> so technically, I, I shouldn't have this fear card. I'm not going to backtrack it because um, you remove the fear card first, and then you get the fear from the beast event. But um, it it doesn't matter really, just because it's it's all random information. But um, just a little small little thing there. Ravage build and the explore is mountain. Go explore here and have some options. I can flow down river. I could push this explorer and then I can just kill it with the left innate. Maybe that's the play. I can also double solve this, like push and push, but then I have to rush a six. I don't think I want to. I think we'll do that. Flow down river and then use the left innate to push the explorer and then just kill it. And then we have some presence moves. Um, I guess maybe we go move, move. We could still actually solve that land quite nicely here. Well, I wasn't going to reclaim here, but I have to. So let's reclaim. Oh, and I also get a fear from that. Get a miner. And I get an energy if I grab a non-fire. But of course, I draw three fire cards, and one of them is Quicken. And Quicken is a very good card on us, so it will be Quicken, so no extra energy. And I think do I want to defend this. I changed my plan to possibly two defend it. And then I planned on just Russia sixing there. 
I think that's an okay plan. I have the bomb coming. And we get the escalation. So I think we use both moves. Move, move, and then we move on our track to get to there. I think we we just run back the same play. We play Unnerving Paul, and we play Flow Down River. This will take us to, we'll have, what, one energy next turn? And fortunately, we're just one energy short, because I didn't draft a... Um, I'm like, I want to see if I can play all these cards, but I don't think I can if I grab Quicken. Maybe I don't grab Quicken then, because I think I want to play these three next turn. But I'm one off. So I think I actually can't grab Quicken here. I have to grab the Horrible Tormenting Rotflies, which feels so bad, but I think it's needed if I want to max my Innates next turn. Now maybe there's the argument to where I don't want to max my Innates, and I just underplay. But I am not sure. Unnerving Paul. One fear. Defend three. I also get an Isolate. Maybe here. I'm going to escalate here. Guess it's okay. Oh, I added a beast though. Now it's not as important. Maybe interesting. Maybe we isolate this land. Though I do want to let the explorers come down. I think that's okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's, there's just so much, move, so many moving parts here. Well, Relentless Optimism, I'm going to lose the Dahan here. Disease comes down and kills with foreign diseases. And then we get um, Pattern and Dance. I do get the two energy, or the one energy, because I have two Dahan there. Ravage Wetlands, we need to rush a six. Uh, I was hoping we would not have to. I was hoping I'd be able to at least kill the Explorer here, but... Mountain Builds, and the Explorer is... Nice. <laughs> the hits. A wetland follow-up with an escalation. This is kind of what I was worried about. Is um, that's why I was thinking about isolating this. Is because now if I escalate, um, I have three explorers here, and then this land would be dangerous. Though I don't. I think I'm still okay because now I think I can go escalate here after rush a six again. So after rush a six into this land, I'll probably take the blight here eventually. If I go escalate to like this. Oh, that's so sad. Because I wanted to use the left innate, but I don't think I'll be able to. If I use Flow Down River. I guess I could Flow Down River you into here. I take the Blights, but then I'd be able to nuke the land. I think I go move presence. Move presence by two moves. I could damage, push you into here. I don't think I want to, though. I mean, if I escalate here twice, if I could do this. Very dangerous. I don't want to throw three explorers there. I think if this is the case, we double escalate like that. We use the innate one fear push this guy into here. And then I flow down river. 
the blight into here, I think. We rush a six into here, and then next turn I can plan on using my innate comboed with dissolving vapors to blast this land. So time passes, I get one fear, and there's the bomb. Of course it's sands. But at least we flow down river the the, the blight out. That was my my whole plan. Fuck, oh I have to get escalation again. Oh boy. Okay, so to put some presents down. Go. Presents here. Presents here. We move one presence into the sands here. Like I said, we play these three cards. I think I'm almost online though. We got four may or flowing, two fear. Do that here. I have the left innate, I have the right innate. Oh, the right innate is pretty cool. I can push some stuff. I think this looks pretty decent. I then have, I have Dissolving Vapors, deals a ton of damage here. On top of my left innate max, should basically wipe the land out. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to isolate. I think I'm supposed to isolate the sands here. And that might be crazy, but the reason why is I'm worried about the 50-50 shot of sands coming up, and I don't want this to have three explorers. Like, that would be devastating. And I think we take the extra blight there. We clear this out. Okay, I think this is... I think we're getting there. Um, What do we get? Missionaries arrive. A card we can't pay for. Because we're Shroud. So we're going to flip a card up. And if it is um, Sun, we lose... Um, so it's not Sun, so we lose a Dahan. Dahan turns into a town. Um, I... Oh god, this is so bad. <laughs> so bad. So we either go here and we cause a city build, or we go here and cause a blight. I guess we go here and we're okay with the blights. And then beasts attack. I guess we'll go to there. So we're really hoping, and this goes back into the deck. And this is what I get for playing Shroud. So we're hoping for an answer for that mountain. And we did not get it. We did get a gather. Okay, so this Dahan dies. I guess we don't need to rush a six. We need to build, though. Build wetlands. We need to escalate. Build sands. And the explore is sands wetland, of course. And this, um, at least I um kind of played around it. By, the, by isolating this land. Oh, I, th I think I'm definitely playing this wrong. Because I think here, damage, damage. So I mean, I have the right innates. I can push two, to, two explorers into there. I then have this, which deals a ton of damage. Kills this, damage that, and then I have Dissolving Vapors, killing all of this, pushing that Explorer. And then we have the Fog closes in. So I have two Presence moves, I guess I go... Move, move. Fog closes in here, doing three damage. Neck is it. And I get two fear. That passes. I think I reclaim here. Getting a miner. Trying to get a non-fire. We got some fires here. We did get confounding mists, which is a pretty spicy one here. I mean, it's definitely just Confounding Mists. That is a way for us to uh, defend four. And that gives us an energy. Okay, so... I 
I think we want to first play flo uh, Silent so that this land doesn't... Um, like, when it blights, my presence can get pushed. And then I think we end up having to play Dissolving Vapors again. So take the Blight here. We're hoping for Beast Damage here. Hoping for Dahan Defend. We have two Fear Cards. It's definitely very possible. Um, let me make sure. So this is Dissolving Vapors. I need to play one more card. I can do Confounding Mists. If I do the Flog... The fog, I keep saying the Flog. The Fog closes in. Um... I think I'm supposed to do this. If I don't do the fog, so the left innate does what? Yeah, so the left innate plus. Is it enough damage? It is not to kill both cities. Well, maybe maybe it is. Left innate does one damage, two damage, three damage. No, it's, I'm just short, so I think I do need to play if the fog closes in to deal with this land, which means we're chancing the wetland in the sands. Okay. I mean, at least we figured it out. So, flowing. Two fear. We'll do it here. Um, I guess we'll isolate. This is... Not too worried about that land. I guess we'll isolate the sands here. Is that land blights. And we have two presence moves. I guess we'll go move, move. We have another presence move. I guess we'll move like this. And here's to hoping those lands get solved. Um, so coastal towns multiply and beasts attack, or uh, explorers blunder. They added to Han as well. Okay, that solves one of the lands. So we will kill this explorer. And we'll push the Explorer over here. But this should be one. And we'll throw this guy into the uh, F4 land. What I'm trying to do is make sure I don't have three Explorers in one of these lands. Because I don't want it to double Ravage. I now have three Fear cards to solve this single land. And maybe I might be able to pull this off. Uh, okay. Well, that definitely solves that part. I can also remove two Explorers. Do I want to just remove these guys instead? Um, I think so. I think we'll just allow this nonsense to occur. We have two more fear cards. This is a removal of a town. Okay, we'll remove that mountain. And let's see, do we get lucked out on the last one? Nice, and that solves this last guy. Okay. Wetland Ravage, Sands Ravage. That blights. This gets pushed because of our flow. And let's see what we got. Oh, this is the upgrade, isn't it? Of course. I'm like, you know, we're, we're, the, the board is getting awfully clean, and nope, here's the upgrade. And then we need to um, build Sands Wetland. Building a city here. I wonder if instead I'm supposed to upgrade a city. What if I upgrade this to a city? I th oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. And then I build a town. Because the damage stays. Build a town, and the explore is... Oh, and I've pocketed. Well, not really, because that's the jungle with an escalation. And we'll go escalate into the wetlands here. And we have two pushes. I'll push presence, push presence, so I can get into the sands here. I have the right innate pushing two explorers into the sands. I have the left innate, uh, so it's one damage. So I would damage um, the city here. And then I do one damage for each adjacent presence, so I would do four damage. So that would, that would kill the town. That would kill the city. It would damage, damage. Dead, dead. Then I have Dissolving Vapors, so one fear, and then I deal one damage to all invaders. I'll actually kill the city and the town here. Look at that. And I just nuke all of those explorers. And then I have the fog closes in. It's kind of sad, because I'm bringing everything down to one HP here, but 
damage, damage. And then I get one fear for time passes. Hmm. Well, that was um that was pretty good. And now we have Sands Mountain coming up. Yeah, I mean I mean I think we just won the game here, but this is uh this is actually really cool because we also know it's missionaries as the follow-up. Um so I could G2 getting the reclaim one. No, I think I want to G3 here, looking for the sun card. I can reclaim. No, I think I'm supposed to G3 after rush six here. Where do we just... Well, let me see if I do this. I do get the tier two here. And that would kill everything. Okay. So let's G3, getting a minor. We're hoping for a zero cost. Um, well, this is unfortunate. I was like, I would really like a card that um, is sun, so I can forget it for the sun a card here. But at the same time, I need a, I guess I need a zero sun. I mean, Carapus Land is nice, but I guess I'm going to have to go with Sky's Herald. Does that hurt my innates, though? It might. If I do this instead of Confounding Mists, I think it does. Yeah, because I need the extra air. Uh, it's so bad for me. God, and Shroud is just... The energy on this thing is just so awful. It's, it's just so miserable. Um, well... No, I, okay, this is actually what we do. We do not grab Sky's Herald. We just grab Carapace Land. And then we play the four cards. This presence goes to the mountain here. I'll explain what I'm doing in one second. Yeah, I do this. This is what I'm supposed to do. Because now I can do... I now have three presence moves. I can go move... Move, move, and that's all of my presence moves. We isolate this land here. We carapace land, defend three here. Confounding mists into the jungle. So when this builds a town, I get to push the town. And then um, I'm having it here in the sands F1 with my defend uh, carapace land. And the whole point of that is if I, when missionaries comes up, I can't pay for it. If I lose it to Han here, it'll ravage and just die. And then um, I should have enough. Oh, I also have a Nerving Paul. I guess I just get one fear. I can get an extra defend one. So prevent some of the edge cases. And then I can set up defend here. Okay, this looks pretty decent. And I have the right innate to push to Han around if I need to. Okay. Wait, uh, shouldn't this... Oh, wait. Did I... Oh, I, I, I got. This is what happens. I get so caught up explaining stuff, I, I forget. So I actually, I'm, I'm one turn. Um, I actually thought I had the wrong event, but um, it is okay. We don't need to worry about it. Um, so we have uh, focus farming and over blighted. So essence. Each player forgets a power card. Sure, I'll forget that tormenting rot flies. Explorer's blunder just kills this explorer. Kind of scary because now um, I have to rush a six here. And then story and season, nice, getting energy. Oh wow, and this is this game, I've also gotten energy from Pattern and Dance, and I'm still so starved. Um, fear cards, let's remove that Explorer. Strife and they land with disease, and it lowers the health. So if that is the case, we'll put the Strife on the damaged city, and that will cause the city to just die here. And we are one HP away from winning. And we are pushing three things from a build card, and we have none. So, Ravage, we need to rush a six. We added it to the Confounding Mist's land, um, which means I can push it. So I'm going to push it over here to the jungle. We'll then need to build jungle. We're adding it to the Confounding Mist's land, which means I get to push it. We then need to um, Sands Mountain build, and then the Stage 3 is Mountain Wetland. We just explore here because this is isolated. And we have the right innate allowing me to... Actually, first we use the left innate. 
And actually, let's move the presence first. That's... Um, actually, we'll, we'll go move, move. There we go. So we'll use flow down river. We'll push this explorer here. We'll use our right innate, pushing a Dahan into here. We'll use our left innate, one damage to a town, and that can do four damage to towns or four damage to a four different invaders. So I would kill the explorer. Damage this, and then I would kill both towns. Oh, actually, I just went here because I agree. Oh, no, I'm not. I thought it was still level three, but I am not. Um, so time pass. I get one fear. And that's it. Oh, but I um, I just need two fear left. So let me just reclaim. I'll grab whatever card. Ooh, there's constancy. Hello. And we will play flowing. Get my last two fear. There we go. So... um. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my uh, my experience and just my talk through through this. This is my first time ever playing the matchup. Um, are there things I would have done differently? Probably. Um, I, I felt we had some really bad luck this game, but maybe I'm just exaggerating. I mean, the rising interest is just usually a brutal card into um, into Russia, followed by a sun, followed by the um, missionaries. Right here was awful. Um, the energy on Shroud is just so tough. Like, trying to manage your energy economy on this thing is just brutal. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So, if you guys like this video, like, subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video.